Hey guys, it's Claudia here and welcome back to another process video. So for today's layout, I'm using the Craft Market Collection by Crate Paper again. And what I'm just doing right here is using this, um, it's kind of like a white uh, background with a pink polka dot and mount it on that floral paper. And I had that floral paper as a scrap, well not really a scrap, but I had it left as a full sheet. and. I didn't want to use it as a whole background, but I also had that um, pink polka dot paper left. So I figured if I put it um, on my layout like this, then I can use both. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm using a picture of my dog. Well, actually, let me correct myself. My brother's dog, um, Amy. And I took it when I was... Uh, back home in March and it's just a photo of her sitting in the backyard but I really like the way it looks so you know it's just a pretty photo of her so I just decided to scrap it and Amy she is she's great she's super happy and excited and crazy and I love her she's 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 good to be around but um you know, sometimes she's hard to take photos of because she loves to run and, you know, jump and act crazy. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to just get her to, you know, just sit still and pose for a bit. But I got a few good pictures, so I'll probably scrap some more photos of this little photo shoot I did with her. So what I'm just doing right now is getting a few bits and pieces of ephemera and cutting them in half and kind of layer them around my photo and you'll see that some of the ephemera pieces that I had selected have nothing to do with the photo but they were scraps so as you know or maybe you don't know but at this point I'm down to my scraps for this collection so I'm kind of trying to work and make the most of whatever I have left of this collection because um, even though I'm ready to move on I still want to get as many layouts done as possible so I actually recorded another layout with this collection on Saturday, uh, last Saturday, and I'm going to record another one this week, and I think that's going to be my last layout. So that means I will have made 19 layouts with this collection when I'm done, so that's, that's pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to doing the Kill the Collection uh, video for that one. So what I'm doing right here is just putting down that floral or flower, I should say. And it's another flower from that um, floral paper that you could cut apart or not. You know, it depends on what you want to do with it. But I had two of it and I use a lot of florals to just color them in with watercolor and use them up on layouts. And... As you just saw earlier, I cut, or I, I'm not sure if I cut them off cam or before I started recording those little square thingies with the gold glitter that I did a few layouts back and have been doing ever since because I like it so much. And for my title, I, I'm, I'm using some of those um, multi-pattern thickers. Um, I just pulled out that chipboard piece that says, hey darling, and I thought it matched the layout and also it matched the color scheme. And I pulled out that orange uh, round chipboard piece that says pure joy, but I decided to get rid of it again and replace it with this um, button with um, gold polka dots instead, because I, I figured it would just look better. And I just pulled out that, uh, is it a tap sticker, I guess, and just cut it in half to place it on both sides of the layout. So now I replaced that yellow K with um, a different K because there's not really yellow in this layout, so I figured it didn't really match that well. And as you might see, the Y I'm using is um, non-capital because I didn't have a Y left that matched my color scheme but 
it, it, it doesn't really bother me, so I just decided to, you know, commit to it and just stick with it. So that's what I'm doing. What am I doing now? I think I'm going to put my title down. So I'm just going to put down these figures first to form the word lucky. And then I'm going to go through the tiny alphas to make the rest of my title. And my title is lucky to have you. And I don't know, I just thought it was a nice, nice title. And, you know, I feel lucky to have her in my life because she's, she's just great. And all my pets are great. I think all my pets are wonderful and they each have their own qualities. So, yeah, I love them all. So now I'm just, you know, going to add a few puffy stickers here and there. And I still have quite a bit left of the puffy sticker, so I'm pretty sure that I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to use all those up. But it's fine. This is my second package anyway, so I don't need to. So now I'm just going to put out some, um, what are they called, like, word words and phrase stickers and I felt like there was something missing at the top of my layout so what I'm just doing is I'm just placing the words and phrase stickers just on the bottom half of my page and then I'm just gonna pull out the figures and just use the numbers to just add a little bit more interest to the layout and this is something I usually don't do but I just really felt like it needed something more on top of the page and I just wanted to try something different. So all I'm going to do now I think is just add some splatters. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be back with more process videos soon. Hope you all have a wonderful day.